Hey guys, it's Kelly and Daniel from fitnessblender.com. Today we have a total body barbell or dumbbell workout. We're going to be doing an ABAB format, which means we're going to be doing two sets of each exercise. We're going to be doing 12 repetitions per set, and like Kelly said, you can either use a barbell for this or a dumbbell. If you don't have either one, you can always use some other kind of weighted object as long as you can hold one in each hand and have the same amount of weight. So we haven't included a warm up or a cool down with this routine, so you want to make sure you get both of those in on your own. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Which is going to be a squat. You can either do a front squat with the weight on your shoulders or back behind your neck, uh, which is a traditional squat. And then we're going to do an upright row, so standing straight up and down, pulling those weights up to your shoulder, your collarbone. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our uh, squat first. So select the weight you want, get it in position. Traditional squat, nice deep low squat, nice flat back. 12 repetitions, start them up. Make sure that you're keeping those lungs open. You don't want to hold your breath. Get a nice low range of motion, as low as you can go comfortably on those knees and those hips, and without letting that lower back around. Chest tilted up towards the wall in front of you. It's halfway, right? Yep. Luckily, I've got a counter with me today because I usually forget. <laughs> Almost done. There's ten. And that's it. Go ahead and switch your weight for that upright row. Alright, standing nice and straight and tall, hands relatively close together. Nice straight back, knees slightly bent, and start it. Elbows go straight up, hands come up to collarbone, nice and slow back down. Nice slow controlled motion. Keep those lungs open. Never let those elbows come down to hand height, and especially not underneath your hands. You'll start using a completely different part of that shoulder. Five, six. Exhaling on the way up is a good way to not get too winded while you're doing this. Yeah, breathing te technique is always a good way to help keep those lungs open and not hold your breath. Two more. So the last one. Nice high, tight squeeze. And let it relax. Alright, that's our first set of both. Which means we have one more set of each. Starting back over with those squats. So grab your weight for that one. Make sure you're picking a weight that challenges you. Don't expect to get any results from just kind of sandbagging it and grab weights that don't really make your muscles burn and your lungs want to explode. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Nice flat back, down as low as you can control, as low as it's comfortable. Press up through your heels. Exhale on the way up. When you're doing squats, most people have a tendency to want to push all their weight into the ball of their foot and actually come up on their toes just a little bit. Make sure your weight is more in your heel than the ball of your foot, but at least even from front to back. Nice flat back. Keep checking it. It's going to start turning around on you. Where are we at? Ten right here. Oh, good. <laughs> Two more. Last one. And go ahead and switch it back. That upright row. Okay. Ready? And start them up. Nice flat back. Elbows pointing up towards the ceiling. 
Slight, slight bend in your knee. Again, keep those lungs open. Keep checking yourself. Your body always wants to find the easiest way to do it, which isn't necessarily the best. It's going to start trying to throw in a bunch of muscle groups that shouldn't be working. So really, really watch that form. Two more. And our last one. And let it relax. All right, very good. That's our two sets of that group. Go and take another short little break. We'll start into our last one. Come up just next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more group to go through. We're almost done with this routine. Our last group is going to consist of a lunge plus a curl. So every single time you go down with that lunge, you're going to curl. And then we're also going to be doing a bent over row. So flat back, similar to a deadlift, but staying down there and doing a row motion with either those dumbbells or that barbell. So go ahead and grab that weight for your lunge and curl, and let's get going. All right, alternating every single step. Start them up, out, curl at the bottom, back up. Try to keep that upper arm straight up and down, that chest straight up and down. Weight evenly dispersed between that front and rear leg. Six. There's ten, two more. One more on each leg. Ooh. Yeah, let that relax. All right, set that down for just a second. Set up for your next one, the bent over row. Nice flat back, slight bend in your knee. Similar motion to that deadlift. And pull up and out with those elbows. Keep those lungs open, weight in your heel, pulling that bar of those dumbbells up to at least chest height. If you can't get to chest, then you're using a little bit too much weight and you need to drop. Eight. Ten. And one more. Ooh, and let that relax. Set that weight down and reset for those curls and lunge. Now, both of these exercises utilize those biceps quite a bit. So you might need to drop that weight to keep that form clean. Just keep, keep an eye on it. Ready? Alright, let's get Here it going. Go. Lungs open, alternating those lunges. Make sure you keep that upper arm straight up and down. Don't let those elbows kick forward. Chest straight up and down. Weight evenly dispersed between that front and rear leg. One more on each side. set of that bent over row. All right. Flat back, knees slightly bent, and started.
Make sure you don't grab too close if you're using a barbell. Don't grab too close on that bar. You want those hands shoulder width or wider, just a little bit wider on the shoulder. And again, make sure you're going even from left to right. You don't want more of that bar on one side of your body than the other. One more. And let it relax. All right. That's our last repetition of our last set, our last exercise, which means this workout is complete. Good job, guys. Hope you got nice and sweaty just like us.